everything was falling into place for Texas. The Southwest Region champions were cruising with a 4-0 lead over Florida in the third inning of Saturday's U.S. bracket title game at the Little League World Series. Starting pitcher Julian Hurst was unstoppable, not allowing a single hit, let alone a run, and had already dominated the Florida team earlier in the week. But then, chaos erupted. In a roller coaster of a game with three dramatic lead changes, Florida emerged victorious and secured their spot in the LLWS Championship on Sunday. The turning point came when Luis Calo delivered a clutch, go-ahead two-run double in the sixth inning, propelling Lake Mary, Florida, to a 10-7 triumph over Bernie, Texas, in the semifinal showdown. Manager Jonathan Anderson was all smiles as he reflected on the journey, saying, We've prepared for this, we've worked for this. It's been our summer. Now Florida, representing the Southeast region, is set to face Taiwan, who claimed a 4-1 victory over Venezuela. This marks the first time since 2003 that a Florida team has reached the title game, when East Boynton Beach fell to Japan's Musashifuchi in a 10-1 defeat. Texas had seemed to have the game in hand, especially after Doc Mogford's two-run double that extended the lead to 4-0. But Florida's comeback began to stir just an inning later when James Feliciano managed to drop a pop-up for an RBI single. The momentum only grew from there. In the following inning, Terraj Alexander capped a four-run rally by stealing home, giving Florida its first lead of the game at 5-4. Recalling the moment, Terraj said, I saw the catcher was looking into the hill. I just started creeping. Then once I thought I had it, like 100%, I just took off. Despite Texas rallying back with three runs, Florida entered their final at-bat in the sixth inning down 7-5. But the drama wasn't over. Jacob Bibod hit a ground ball that found its way through the infield, allowing James Feliciano to score and cutting the lead to 7-6. A sacrifice fly from Leah Morrissey brought in Garrett Rohosen, tying the game and setting the stage for Luis Calo's heroics. After Luis's pivotal hit, Liam, who had come in as a courtesy runner, stole third and capitalized on an error to score, leaving the ball loose down the third baseline. With pride and determination, Anderson rallied his team, saying, I know I pushed them hard, and I know I told them that that work would get them to the promised land. And I'm sure they didn't believe me. But here we are, boys, here we are. Job's not done. We got one more. But boy, are we close. This is Playful Parade reporting on a game that will go down in Little League history, where dreams clashed, and Florida emerged on the brink of a championship title. Stay tuned, because this journey is far from over. Oh,